welcome to my channel and today we're going to talk about what I ate for the past couple of days on low carb and I want to show you something first. There is this and I know some of y'all have seen it but I'm apparently in behind on the t in the times because I had never seen it. I was looking for something yesterday on the computer and I don't even know what made this um, image pop up because I had never seen it before. It's a bear silhouette and inside the bear is the word mama mama bear i'm like oh my gosh the light bulb went off i'm like not mama bear momo bear <laughs> so look what i made i got this coffee cup at wonders for a dollar because i knew it was perfect to put something on and my vinyl order came yesterday so i got all my colors that i'm starting out with over here they missed two but i'm sure they'll make it right and so I made this yesterday. Now, maybe the placement's off. I'm new at this, so cut me some slack. But let me see if it's glaring. Is it glaring? Can you see it? Maybe it's glaring to me. Or you can see my phone in it. Anyway, Momo Bear. I feel like, there we go. See down there, Momo Bear? <laughs> I thought it was I thought it was clever. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do today, though, back here on the back, I'm going to put two little bear cubs, one for Sebastian, one for the new baby. I seen some. There was like a mama bear, and like the little cubs be in the front. She like to be nuzzling down. If I'd have thought of that, I'd have done that, but I, I didn't. I thought, well, I'll just do this. And then after the fact, I thought, well, have them trailing behind her. That might be cute. So. Anyway, that's what I made yesterday. All right. For Wednesday. Mm-mm. Let me tell you this before I forget it. Did it snow? It sleeted, and then it had some snow mixed in it, and there was a, a dusting on my yard. What looked like somebody took a powder sugar shaker out there. <laughs> that's, that's it. There's supposedly another one coming through, I think, if they ain't changed it. Sunday-ish that is supposed to be more of an opportunity for us because they, they give us two to four inches and then it just kept dwindling away and dwindling away. Um, so I didn't get my snow, it. Fingers crossed for later on coming up. Now, I'm going to tell you this too. Remind me. Remind me to tell you what my little sign said today when I changed it. It's a good one. It's a good one. Anyway, let's talk about my food. So, ooh, I'm on the wrong day. What day am I on? Thursday. Thursday I had. Now, because of the impending storm on Friday, I had went ahead and set up my groceries for Thursday. So, Thursday was really my Friday as far as running and filming and editing. So, I normally eat less on those days because it just works out that I'm busy and I don't have time to just think about the food so my calories were decent 1423 that, that was below goal but um i think that's a decent it's still less than what uh, i'm trying to think the lowest mine's uh, my chart was like maybe 1500 something like that i can't remember but I, i'm i'm okay with it 27 total carbs and 23 net carbs now for a midnight snack from wednesday night into um, Thursday morning, I woke up, what I tell you, at the book crack of dawn, starving. I was starving. So I had some of those um, summer sausage slices and the sliced cheese with some mustard on it. The um, I hadn't even eat. I thought I was feeling something in my mouth. I hadn't even eat. <laughs> it ain't nothing. Listen, I brush my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> then for breakfast, um, I had my casserole. It was my last sausage and egg casserole. Lunch, while I was running, I had one of them little bags of trail mix. It's that Orchard Valley. The little little bags, they're delicious. They have several different um, blends. They're very good. Uh, snack, I had two boiled eggs. And then supper, we had hamburger steak, uh, low-carb baked squash, and green beans. And so that was that. And if I ate anything for snack, I didn't write it down. 
Seems like I might have had popcorn and I forgot to write it down. I think I did. I think I did have popcorn. I'll go back and add that. It's my Lord. It'll jack those carbs up, but since they're so low, it'll still, I think there's 19 minus 2, so maybe 17 carbs in the popcorn I eat. I don't know, something like that. So it's still within my goal. And then Friday, I ate more on Friday, but I didn't go over my goal, but like 6 calories. So I had 1,806 calories. 73 carbs and 63 net carbs. So that's within my goal. Breakfast, I had cream of wheat because it was just cold. And you know what? Cream of wheat sounded good. My mama. <laughs> so now my mama was a single mama and she raised me and my brother by herself. But before she went to work and before we got on the school bus, she made sure we had breakfast. And most of that breakfast was hot cereal because it was cheap. We either have oatmeal or we'd have cream of wheat. And she would put it in the pie pans. You know the metal pie pans? I don't know if that's why I can't eat metal on metal to this day. If I'm at a restaurant and they bring me a salad on a metal plate, I have to ask. Or if I already know, you know, ahead of time that that's what they serve at that restaurant, I have to say, can you please put it on a regular plate? Because I can't, I can't do metal to metal. I will just cringe. So she would bring our um, breakfast and lay it, I'm not even joking, she would lay that pie pan of oatmeal down or that cream of wheat down. I think she did that because it cooled it off for us. It spread it out and cooled. Because you know how hot the cereal, you had to have to um, wait to eat it. She would sit it down there by your pillow and this is what she'd say. She'd say, eat it or wear it. <laughs> Can I just tell you, I wore it <laughs> plenty of times. I was a very hard sleeper, very hard to wake up, very stubborn to get out of bed. So she just said, here you go, eat or wear it. <laughs> so uh, I grew up loving cream of wheat. So I had cream of wheat. I just had to tell you that. Then lunch, I made me a tuna salad. I had a couple boiled eggs left. Snacks. Now, this is in between lunch and supper, and that don't mean I sit down and eat them all at one time. This is just during the day. I had a bag of that trail mix. I had some cucumbers and four Slim Jims. Now, let me tell you, it ain't the old tiny Slim Jims that you really got a meat stick. This is them little, all the kind, look like little Barbie doll meat sticks. They're about that tall, and I found big around as a pencil. No joke. They, they have shrunk. Even all these have shrunk since I've been getting them there. So I ate four of them bad boys. I ate them going down the road getting my, one of my groceries. I can't remember. Maybe Food Line. I think it was. It was Food Line. Um, then supper, we had a taco salad. And I just had some taco meat and cheese because I don't eat my cucumbers. And I had one little cup of that, um, Avocado, mashed avocado. And then for a snack, last night I had um, some deli chicken. Because I had, went yesterday, I had to run to the Dollar Tree. And um, I didn't do big shopping. There's something I needed particular for something I was doing. And so then I ran back to the um, grocery store because I forgot to get the meat. We're ha Oh yeah, we're having an air fryer collab coming up. I think it's Sunday. I haven't looked at my notes to check um because just to you know double check but you be looking for it coming up there's a bunch of us doing it our favorite um air fryer recipes so that'll be good but i had to get my meat for that because i completely forgot to schedule myself time to cook it and film it during the week on my menu and then i didn't get the meat so i had to run to the food line for that and i picked up a, a little pack of oscar Mayer deli chicken I got David some last week from the actual deli. It was like honey barbecue. He took one bite. He's like, I can't eat that. He said it has some kind of funky taste. So we're both getting weird about our chicken. So it wasn't bad because I ate it with cheese. So I had some sliced that cheese. I had already sliced. So that is what I ate. 
um, the past two days. I think I did good. I stayed low carb. I still had um, popcorn. That was my grain. Um, I'm trying to think. Did I say any other grains in there? Oh, cream of wheat. That's my whole grain. So I'm still doing my um, mix, my, my own. Um, well, I think sometimes people confuse low carb and keto. They're two different animals. If somebody tells you they're doing low carb, they're not doing keto. Keto is pretty much no carbs. Low carbs is just what it means. Low. I'm just cutting out the crap, the crap carbs. That's all. So, um, now what I was going to tell you, my little sign right there, you know, I change it before I come on here and um, tape. Or even if I don't tape, whenever I come to my desk, that's when I change it for the day. Today's is so good. It makes me want to make a, a sign for somewhere. Be a rainbow in somebody's cloud. <sighs> Makes my <laughs> blows my mind how something so simple is so profound. If somebody's having a bad day, just try to be a bright light in that day. You don't you don't have to put on a red nose and an orange wig and be bozo the clown, but you ain't got to be all down in the dumps and you know. Help them out of their situation. Say something nice to them. Be kind to them. Don't be a buzzkill. That kind of goes backwards. Don't be a cloud on somebody's rainbow. See, I like it that way too. Don't be a cloud on somebody's rainbow. Somebody's having a good day. Don't be poo-pooing on them. Don't be stepping on them. Don't be, you know, discounting what they're coming to tell you. I don't care if you had already done it 10 years ago. You ain't got to tell them. You may got the buzz kill. Let them tell you their situation. Let them have their moment. Let them tell you their experience. Later on, you can talk about it like, oh, when when you told me so and so, that reminded me. And then tell them that story. That is one thing, no joke, that I proactively have tried with my children. And I hope I succeeded, and I hope I still succeed today. I'm sure there's times when I slip up because as parents, the first thing we want to do is say, Oh, I've been there. I know what you mean. You can do that without stepping on their moment. So when they experience something or, or they have something happen or they do it, I let them live their moment. I let them have their um experience. I let them tell me about it. I let them deal with their emotions and I don't jump in and say, oh, well, you know, when I was so-and-so age, you know, I did that too. No, you can bring that up later and, you know, say, that is so funny you were telling me that because when I was so-and-so, that's what happened to me. So go both ways on that. Be a rainbow in somebody's cloud, but don't cloud up on nobody's rainbow. Oh my gosh, that man. <laughs> that makes me think. Now, my mama, I get it from her, and Holly gets it from me. We will take and take and take until we don't. You know that, this is what it makes me think of. You know that game in the arcades and Vegas, I reckon, and anywhere that they do stuff like that. It's where the quarters go down the chute and there's all these quarters on these little things and they're like doing this and you try to hit the back of a quarter to push off some other quarters and they just pile up and pile up and pile up and then every now and then you might hit one and get a quarter or two well that's us you put them quarters in us and we'll just we'll just t pile up we'll just take it we'll take it and then all of a sudden one of them quarters gonna knock some down so my mama used to say i'm cloud up rain on somebody <laughs> She'll still say it to this day. I'm cloud up rain on somebody. So <laughs> unless you are pushed, don't be raining nobody. Don't don't cloud up on nobody unless they make it. Now be sure to stand up for yourself because I'm a big proponent of standing up for yourself. Me and David were just talking, just talking uh, a few days ago. <clears throat> I don't even know. 
I don't even know how the subject came up of bullies. RJ was bullied. And he was a big kid. He was tall. He was big. He was bigger than the other ones. And it was always these little scrawny kids that wanted to try to prove something. He would never fight back. I say, RJ, you got to fight back one time and just show them and let them know you're not scared of them. Mama, I can't. He was such a tender. He's still, he's still very tenderhearted, very um, sensitive. He, I can't, Mama, I can't. Well, one day in middle school, <coughs> excuse me. I got a phone call. RJ had been in a fight, and I need to come to the principal's office. Listen, I was in the principal's office more in middle school than both of the rest of their schools together. But I stand up for my children. Anything went wrong. Now, I didn't baby them, but right is right and wrong is wrong. And when it was wrong, Mama was there. And they knew it. They knew I had them back then. They know I got their back now. Always will. So we went in. <clears throat> the little boy had been picking on RJ and he started it. And this is what I used to tell. Well, I, I'll, I'll tell you this. This is what I always told him at home. And this is what I told that principal. They um, said, okay, well, we're suspending him. I said, okay, that's fine. This is almost word for word what I told him. I said, we will take that suspension because the way I raised my son is you better not start nothing, but you better not come home and tell me you didn't finish it. I said, so we'll take it. That's that's how I raised him. So don't start nothing. Don't don't go out being a, a butthole to people, but defend yourself. Don't don't stand around and take a beating. You know, ain't no time X watch. Take a lick and keep on ticking. No. You got to take no licking from nobody. You stand up for yourself. Send them to me. I told you that before. They don't like it. Send them to me. <laughs> I'll deal with it. I don't care. I ain't scared. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think that's all I know today. I, I think this was a, a ra rambling. Okay. Who sings that song? Rambling on. I'll give you a hint. They're in this picture. <laughs> some of y'all, some of y'all rock and rollers know it. Okay, it's on my Spotify. I was just hearing it yesterday. So it, that's why it came to mind. All right, well, that's all I know for today. That was what I ate. I think I did pretty good. Stayed on plan. I, I plan on planning. I plan on planning on today. Um, even though it's Saturday, instead of eating out, I'm going to do my collab meal, which is going to be higher. Um, not in carbs. It'll be higher in probably calories. Um, but that's okay. That's my Saturday. That, that's how it is. <laughs> okay. That's all I know. I think. Let me think. Let me, let me run it around. Pretty sure that's it. So the next video you see will probably be my meal prep. Um, depending on how I feel. Sometimes... Depend on how I feel. If it's an easy prep, I can get it edited and uploaded on Sunday after I finish. And sometimes it has to be on Monday. Speaking, oh my gosh, speaking of uploads, since we had to move the um, computer into the living room, well, I hardwired it instead of running um, wireless. The the modem thingy is just right there, so I just hardwired it straight into it to the computer. Oh my gosh, my videos upload like that. That. 17 minute video I put up the other day didn't even take two minutes. It's just boom. And before it would take easily sometimes a half hour to upload. Then you got to sit there and wait forever for YouTube to process. And you other YouTubers know exactly what I'm talking about. That YouTube processing is a process. It, it takes a, a while. If you can just upload it and be done, boy, I would have these things done in no time. So, Anyway, it just depends on how I feel. You'll see it tomorrow. You'll see it Monday. So that's all I know. Momo Bear says, 